Ich begrüße Sie herzlich hier im wunderschönen Garten der Kirche Sahnen, wo heute Abend das Konzert mit Paul McCreech und seinem Gabrieli Consort and Players stattfinden wird. Ein Gedenkkonzert an Lord Menuhin, der hier vor 60 Jahren in dieser Kirche das Staat Menuhin Festival gegründet hat. Heute Abend stehen Werke von Britten, Bach und Mozart auf dem Programm mit dem Hauptwerk, dem Mozart Requiem, im zweiten Teil, worauf wir uns alle sehr freuen. Ich hoffe, wir können Sie mit den folgenden Ausschnitten auf den Geschmack bringen, hier im Staat weitere Konzerte live in der Kirche Sahnen oder da drüben im Festival Konzertzelt ähm, zu erleben. Danke vielmals. So why did you choose um, Bach, uh, Britain and uh, Mozart for tonight's concert? Well, I think if you're going to do a program celebrating the life of Yehuda Menuhin, you could almost choose any music from any period and any composers uh, because his musical tastes were so wide, they were so eclectic. Um, but it seemed a good opportunity to Uh, to make a program that both celebrated the power of music and also had pieces which had connections in some way with Yehudi Menuhin. The program centers around three pieces. Um, Bach's uh, great motet, Jesu Manne Freude, uh, a memorial motet uh, which Bach wrote. Uh, it's an extraordinary piece. It's about 20 minutes long. Uh, it's actually uh, entirely palindromic, in other words it's uh, a form which uh, has a central point and is equal each way round. So it's a sort of mathematical and technical tour de force as well as some of the most beautifully expressive music and it's written uh, upon a chorale, uh, a hymn tune, which is interleaved, so it's a sort of very big structure. Um, and then we're going to do Britain's Hymn to Saint Cecilia, which celebrates the power of music Uh, it's an interesting text by W. H. Auden, uh, written in the 40s when Britain and Auden were in New York. And of course, Menuhin and Britain uh, had a relationship, and indeed the very beginnings of the Gestalt Festival, the concerts that took place here, took place with Britain and Pierce and uh, Maurice Gendron, I think it was, and Yehudi Menuhin. So uh, there's a very nice connection there. Of course, the two knew, knew each other. And then we're going to complete the program with Mozart Requiem, and of course, and was known as a distinguished Mozart and indeed conducted this piece for a long time. It is of course well known that Mozart died with the Requiem being incomplete. The obvious question is how much is Mozart? Um, some of the, uh, the score is entirely uh, composed, as one would expect, probably about half of it. And then there's about another quarter or so which there are substantial parts, bass lines, vocal parts, um, some orchestration or some markings to discuss the instrumentation. Um, and there are a couple of movements which you need to reconstruct. Um, and the final fugue, Mozart actually left instructions that it would, was to be the same fugue as the Christe. So, you know, you can say we've got a pretty good map to get us from A to B. The problem is, you know, Mozart is, as we all know, the, you know one of the greatest geniuses the world's ever produced. And it doesn't matter how good you are as a pastiche writer, it's almost impossible to finish this uh, work. I think Levin's version, Levin, as you know, is an outstandingly fine pianist and a very talented improviser. I won't say I agree with him on every single decision on this because I don't. But I think it's a very interesting uh, working out of what Mozart might have done with a very good understanding of Mozartian style. And for me, it's the least imperfect of the options. Is that a good way of putting it? I love this church very much. But the other thing that the church brings to the performance is, you know, there is a resonance. And I'm not talking necessarily about belief or religion, but there is a resonance in hearing 
sacred music in a sacred environment. Mm -hmm. There is a reason we have churches, even when most of the world now is largely secular. Um, and there is a sort of particular resonance when you hear these great Lutheran chorales from the Bach, or when you hear uh, just the, the sound of an English choir in, in Britain, and a Mozart Requiem in a, in, in a church. It, it, it adds something. And then, of course, in this particular church, for us, knowing that this is the very church where this whole festival began, where Yehuda Menuhin and Britain were on the same platform. You know, this is part of the history of, of music and it's nice, hopefully in another 60 years, there'll be some other brilliant young conductor coming in and celebrating the 150th or 200th anniversary, whatever it is. You know, one's constantly aware as a musician that you, you live your life and you, you do your best, but others, thank God, will come after you and continue this amazing tradition. Was für ein großartiger Abend, ein Gedenkkonzert für Jedu Miduin, in dem A Cappella Werke, zwei A Cappella Werke gespielt wurden und dann Mozarts Requiem. Es war ein großartiger Abend, weil diese drei Werke von Bach, Britten und Mozart alle irgendwie miteinander zu tun hatten. Und es war großartig, weil das Gabrieli Konsort und der Paul McCreech diese Werke bekenntnishaft spielen konnten. Es war immer klar bei Mozart Requiem, das ist nicht einfach schöne Musik, sondern hier gilt es etwas Religiöses, etwas Geistliches auszudrücken. Und das war auch bei Bach, Jesu meine Freude, so. Und man konnte natürlich in jedes einzelne Solo in das Orchester reinhören, aber das Ganze, das wirkte zusammen als geschlossene Einheit und das über zwei Stunden, ein großartiges Konzert.